I get asked this question from time to time and I thought I would address it. Hey Scott, can I pass the Azure Architecture 70-534 exam taking only this course? First of all, you might ask yourself, which course? I have a brand new course covering the Microsoft 70-534 exam, which is the Azure Architecture test that leads to a certification. Check out the link on the screen. I'll also post the link in the description of this video. Gets back to the question. So the truth is that this is a hard test and it covers a lot of subjects. You've got the combination of the test itself being difficult and the subject being so diverse. If you look at the requirements of the exam, there are six major objectives. There are 30 sub-objectives and under those sub-objectives there are over 100 individual topics that are covered on this exam. That's a more than 100 things that you have to be familiar with enough at an architecture level to be able to answer questions on if it comes up. So this is the truth, the test is challenging. So when you step back from that and you say, well, that's a lot of ground to cover and we do have a challenging test, I think you need a minimum of 20 hours to study if you already know the subject of Azure. So if you've been working as an Azure architect for some time, you may have very deep experience working with the platform as a service piece or the infrastructure as a service piece or you know web apps or mobile apps. There might be areas where you are stronger and areas that you are weaker when you look at the requirements of the exam. You may need, I'm, I'm estimating here, 20 hours to study and if you do that right, you know, two hours a night, it's going to take you a couple weeks to go through all of those 100 topics and focusing on the ones that you're weakest on and being able to breeze through the ones that you're strong on. Now, if you've not even been exposed to that much of Azure, let's say you're an Azure developer, but you've never been on the architecture side, you don't understand the networking piece, you don't understand how uh, websites are scaled and things like that, you're going to need more time. You're going to need 40 or 60 hours to study. This is a multi-week process. It took me over a month of really hard work to get to the point where I was able to pass the test. And so th think of that amount of time and the amount of effort that's required to pass. And so what we have here is you want to be able to take this course, watch the videos, you want to go follow along with the resources, read the links, you want to do the assignments, take the quizzes, and then you're going to want to go off and dive deeper into the areas that you really want to work on. So let's say you have a strong networking background and it's really the web development part that you're not as strong on or vice versa. You want to be able to watch more videos. You can definitely go to YouTube, go to MVA, go to other places and see what they have available. Get into Azure, start setting up servers for yourself, playing around, getting familiar with it. And so since I estimate that you need 20 to 60 hours to study this is only an eight and a half hour course. And so watching this course once, unfortunately, I don't think you'll be able to pass the test. That's not my promise to you. My promise to you is I have com compiled all of this knowledge and all this information into a single course, and I'm giving you all of the links, all of the resources, everything that you need to go off and study, but you do have to do the work of studying. You cannot not study and just sit back and watch videos. This is a hard test. It requires a lot of work. But that's, this is the leg up that you're going to get by taking this course. So once again, 70-534 Microsoft Azure Architecture. Link is on screen. Link is in the description. Let me know if you have any questions.